गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी नमस्ते वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन वी आर ऑन स्टेप वन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वन ऑब्जर्विंग आर सेल्फ ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ बाय ऑब्जर्विंग आर इमेजिनेशन वी मे बी एबल टू सी सम थॉट्स इन द इमेजिनेशन सो वी आर ट्राइंग टू ऑब्जर्व दीज थॉट्स and we are also trying to observe the feeling at the base of the thoughts so yesterday we had uh, given this assignment to do to sit in a quiet place at a time when you are not likely to be disturbed and when you are not going to be rushing out into some activity so when you have some quiet time to sit down for 15 20 minutes and see if you can observe your thoughts your feelings in fact we have been doing this observation even um in the sessions in the morning for 10 minutes at a time so we will restart that i thought we can go step by step and we can start with your um doing this practice for 15 20 minutes at one time and now we can sort of build up the intensity as we become familiar with the activity so even if it is not possible for you or it doesn't seem practical for you to do this you know 15 to 20 minutes sitting down and observing the self um throughout the day at least once in the day when you have quiet time you try to do it and at other times if possible it would be good if you can do this every few hours if it if your day is you know full of activities what you can still do is to remind yourself to check from time to time what is happening inside so yesterday um were we able to do this um exercise by sitting uh trying to see the thoughts and the feelings separately you can answer in the chat were we able to sit and do this or was there some difficulty because a lot of times what happens is we may have certain doubts because we are not used to doing this from before so we may have certain doubts regarding what we are doing and how we can do it better and so on so we'll discuss a few of the problems that we face when we are you know like how you all are saying same way many people have shared in the past also problems that they are facing when they are trying to see the imagination one problem is attention keeps going outside so there also if the attention goes outside we can see that yes i was paying attention now suddenly there is a you know dog barking so my attention goes outside and i see oh the dog now but even when my attention goes outside some thoughts are there i can observe those also i can just observe that this is i mean you know i stopped observing and i started looking outside but when i am looking outside also i can come back to the observation and i can say okay i look i was looking at the dog and i had some thoughts now here i may be having to recall the thoughts because i might have been flowing with the thoughts but then i can come back to observation so whatever we think is important we start paying attention to that so you know what like earlier also we were talking about something outside some activity outside some sensation in the body we are paying attention to that but if we try to observe the thoughts now we have to draw your attention inside 
what is it that you are observing? It will take little time sometimes. Even if you are looking outside, even if you found that, oh, I was supposed to be observing, now my attention got drawn to something else. Okay, as soon as you become aware that your attention got drawn to something else, come back to observing. But keep with that decision that I have to observe what is going on. Ultimately, you will be able to see what is going on. You will be able to see the thoughts. Uh, many of us have been able to share that, you know, earlier we could not see the feeling. Now we can see our feeling also. So slowly, you will be able to see this. Let's not rush it. Let's just try to observe whatever we are seeing and start noting down. Then you will find um, that slowly that progress is happening. So one common problem that happens is that we start observing through the body. So right now we have to see the imagination going on in the self. We don't have to see the imagination through any kind of sensation, through any of the sense organs. We can see the self directly. We can see what is going on within directly. So whatever we have to see outside, we use the five senses, no? sound, touch, form, taste, smell. So somewhere we try to link that up when we are trying to see the self. And we may try to see or we, you know, we may be trying to see what kind of shape it is, what kind of form it is, what color is associated with it and so on. Because that is how we have been looking outside largely. But then, uh, like we have been saying, the consciousness is more subtle than that. Even the you know, thoughts that are in the cell, they are more subtle than what we are seeing outside. So it may take a little bit of uh, practice or you know, um, more and more time of observation or that attempt at observation till we are able to see. But eventually we'll be able to see. So um, even if you note that sometimes you are trying to deduce some form or trying to see, you know, analyze things, just notice that now, see, you're flowing with the thoughts or you're trying to analyze the thoughts. Come back to trying to see. Whatever you may be observing, even if you are, you are trying to see the form or you are trying to deduce something, okay, observe that you were trying to deduce something from it. Just write it down. Ultimately, we have to see the whole imagination. Ultimately, we have to see the feeling at the base of the imagination. But it is going to happen that our attention will keep drifting here and there. We may not be able to do it continuously. From time to time, we'll find we can observe. Then at other times, we are lost. We are not observing anymore. So no need to react. No need to get disturbed. No need to be uncomfortable about it. Just observe that I drifted or, oh, I was analyzing this. I wasn't actually observing this. Then again, come back to your decision. Let me observe. Again, we said, you know, when the feeling is not clear, you can observe your thoughts. And for the time being, with that observation of the thought, you can deduce the feeling. But ultimately, you have to be able to see the feeling directly. See as in you will experience it. So you will be able to see it. 
So this also we heard today. My my imagination seems to be going on only sometimes, not all the time. But if we you know keep seeing, we might find as we as our competence to see grows, we'll find that a lot of times it is going on, but we are not observing. In fact, it is going on all the time. But we are observing only some small part of it from time to time. So as we do more and more observation, this faculty within us will become sharper. Just as, you know, till we refer to the natural acceptance, it seems to be dormant. We don't know anything about it. When we start accessing it, we start referring to it. Now it seems to have become active. So we have become aware of it. It was always there, but we could not see it. Now when we refer to it, we are able to see it. But we don't always refer to it also, isn't it? So similarly, we'll notice that the imagination is going on. But I may not be observing. I may either be flowing with the thoughts or my attention may be outside somewhere. And I have forgotten that I was to be observing. So whenever you come back to that, that you were not observing, just come back to observing and keep it open for now. But you will be able to see that the imagination was going on. I could not see it. What we'll do is we'll take 10 minutes here and try to observe our thoughts. And with the thoughts, try to observe the feeling, if you can. If you are not able to observe the feeling, you can try to deduce the feeling later. But for now, observe the thoughts and just notice with the thoughts, you feel calm, comfortable or uncomfortable or, you know, what do you experience in the feeling part? Notice this and then if you want, you can uh, later on write down the thoughts also. Or if you think you're going to forget, then you can keep noting down the thoughts also. Now, in these 10 minutes, so you can take a paper and pen, or if you have a journal that you're maintaining, you can take that. Okay, we have been um, trying to observe for the last 10 minutes. We can take some observations. Inderpalji um, has raised his hand. Namaste. Ma'am, I was observing my thoughts. Ji. Uh, and I find uh, most of the thoughts which are coming, uh, the feelings behind are in opposition. Mm -hmm. Most of the thoughts. Mm -hmm. There are certain thoughts where I feel uh, the feeling of relationship. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also observed when I have the feeling of uh, opposition, I am very much uncomfortable. And when I have the feeling of relationship, uh, I am very, very comfortable in spite mm -hmm. of the fact that at times things are not according to my convenience. This is what I observe. Mm -hmm. Nice. Ashutosh Bajpayee ji. Namaste, Didi. Didi, uh, I, I, I have written my thoughts mm -hmm. and feelings mm -hmm. and observing that thing. If I am not reacting on that uh, thought and feeling, mm -hmm. if some uh, person is there, any incident happened, any event mm -hmm. happened like this, now. Mm -hmm. If I am not reacting, just observing and observing, mm -hmm. then nothing happens. Mm -hmm. yes. That is not a feeling of happiness or unhappiness. The moment I react on my thought, na, then I feel happy or unhappy. Uh, what I am mm -hmm. observing. Yeah. So what I am, what I understood from what you said was that when you are observing, mm -hmm. even if you are observing that whatever 
you were having a feeling of opposition or something like that when you are observing you don't feel happy or unhappy ji. i mean you you are calm ji 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 you can say in a way you can say you are happy because you are feeling calm mm -hmm. but not like an excitement kind of thing yes yes isn't it that's what yes. you are meaning right yes yes yes, yes. yes. that's very true when you are observing mm. but the moment you are analyzing thinking or you know um, sort of you are in the b2 block and you are thinking about it mm. analyzing the situation there if you are having feeling of opposition you will be feeling uncomfortable very true so this is a very important point that when we are observing we will not have that hmm. disturbance within even if you are observing that you were having a feeling of opposition hmm. you don't feel so disturbed because whatever you are um, you know if you are seeing from that level of pure observer hmm. there there is calm yes. there is um, not this upheaval from there you are observing it's like if you are in the midst of a traffic jam mm. and you are in the you know you are going with that now you are in the thick of it you are having a problem maneuvering you know over there mm. so you are disturbed or you know uh, all those emotions are there but the same thing if you are observing from say when you are in a plane mm. you are observing all this traffic that is going even though there is a jam now it doesn't disturb you because you are not in it you are observing from a distance something like that mm -hmm. isn't it yes didi and you uh, you have given this same example 6 uh, or 7 month back and mm -hmm. i could not understand but now i am able to uh... <laughs> <laughs> because now you are able to see it in yourself <laughs> mm. yes nice Uh, gratitude didi thank you very nice thank you several times in the day if you can from time to time observe the thoughts if you can observe the feeling observe the feeling if not just observe the thoughts and write down whatever you are observing from time to time you can write it down <laughs>